District Attorney is calling it one of the most complex, unusual, and perplexing cases that his office has ever encountered. Four dead newborn babies found inside a South Boston apartment freezer. And new on five tonight, there has been a critical decision about this bizarre case. Five Investigates Karen Anderson has been following the story right from the start. She joins us live in the news. And so, Karen, what's new? The DA announced today the woman at the center of this investigation will not be charged. Now, investigators say they will never know will not be charged. Now, investigators say they will never know exactly what happened to those four infants. Two boys and two girls were discovered in their own mother's freezer. So as we told you, uh, first told you, the infants were found in November of 2022. They were inside shoe boxes, which were wrapped in tin foil and left in a freezer in a condo in this building on South Broadway, belonging to 69-year-old Alexis Aldemir. Now, she had worked at an accounting firm for decades, and none of her colleagues there ever knew her to be pregnant. Investigators say the babies all had the same father, who died in 2011. The couple also had a fifth child. She was given up for adoption. Now, as we first reported, the infants were discovered after Aldemir was diagnosed with dementia and her brother came to clean out her apartment. The DA said today they cannot ethically move forward with the case that it cannot bring to trial, citing Aldemir's current cognitive state that no charges will be filed in connection with the remains of four babies that were found dead in a freezer in South Boston. WBZ's Courtney Cole is live in studio with us. And Courtney, those remains were found more than a year ago. And David and Lisa, investigators have been going to great lengths since then to try and figure out what happened. In November of 2022, a man cleaning out his sister's apartment, this was on East Broadway, found the remains of four babies in shoe boxes in a freezer. The DA says his investigators found the woman who used to live in the apartment and obtained a DNA sample. They believe she gave birth to five babies while she lived there. Now they found records and learned that she gave one child up for adoption and the others were left in the apartment. There are two big reasons that there won't be any charges though. First, investigators cannot prove that the babies were born alive and found no signs that they had been killed. In a release sent out today, the DA says the medical examiner reported that there was no scientific method to determine how long the babies had been frozen. The autopsy found no signs of internal or external trauma and no evidence of obvious injuries. The other reasons there are no charges is that the mother now lives in a health care facility and prosecutors do not believe she will be competent to stand trial the father of the babies died several years ago. Mm -mm -mm. Just another day here in Babylon. All right. You hear these stories all the time. It's always something crazy, sadistic, wrong, upside down, backwards going on here in Babylon. OK, so you heard you heard that story. Right? It was really it doesn't make any sense. None of it really makes any sense. Uh, first and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rekaha, Kodash. Excuse me. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone of whom I learn from each and every day. Healthy Shalom to you, brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Okay, now, hey, now, hey look, look. You know, listen, listen carefully. If that was a Jake woman, well, let me take that back. If it was a Jake male, then he'd be in all kinds of damn trouble. But this queen of heaven spirit and these women, they get a pass. Again, so let's go into the story. Let's just read this first. Matthew 24 and verse 12. This is red letters right here. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Now, we don't know if those uh, those babies, you know, if they were, again, if they were born, stillborn, if you will. When, you know, stillborn means when a baby is born, you know, uh, you know, dead, right? We don't know if they're still born. We don't know this. We don't know that. But the circumstances is this. If you have, if, take for instance, let's just, let's just put it this way. If some authorities, what they call them authorities, police, whoever, were to find four dead bodies in my freezer, it don't matter if they're babies or if they're 100 or 75 years old, my, my ass going to jail. They're going to put me up under the jail but because you know she got the complexion for the protection 
and you know because of this and because of that and the story really doesn't make sense anyway and it says she was what 70 years old you know and now we don't know how long the babies might have been in there they could have been in there for decades all right and you know and behold <laughs> possibly that's what was going on all right they could have been in there for decades because it says she was what 70 something and her husband had uh you know passed away in 2000 11 or whatever or it could have been something more sinister i don't know i don't know but again if it was jake they'd have put their asses up under the prison and i'm talking under the prison right let's go here job 4 and verse 7 remember i pray thee whoever perished being innocent or where was the righteous cut off so even you know hey and that's a lot of things uh, some that's one of the things that a whole lot of jakes don't understand is a, why would why would the Lord why would God kill babies? He he wouldn't do nothing like that. He loves little children. Well, it's called reincarnation, a regeneration. All right, you come back after every third and fourth generation. Let's get that scripture, okay? And we're and we'll go into uh, some you know child sacrifice in the way Babylon you know is anyway. All right, so let's go to. Um, let me see. Uh, no, anyone perish being. What was the scripture I was getting ready to go into? Salakia. Damn, it flew away that quick. This it's not gonna be long anyway. Just just showing you that these nations, you know, they don't they don't judge themselves the way they judge, uh, uh you know, Jake Israelites. Salakia, what was that scripture I was going into? Bear with me. All right, here it go. I found it. This is what I was going to get ready to go into. You know, the scriptures came back to me pretty quickly after I stopped the camera. Anyway, and please excuse my voice, man. It's early in the morning, you know, when I first get up. It's weather up here. It's strange, man, up here in uh, uh, western North Carolina in the mountains. <clears throat> it's weird up here. It'd be like, it's supposed to be like 75 something, 75 degrees today, something like that. But, you know, at night it'd be getting down to like 32. So it, 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 it takes a toll on you, man. You know, we want to get the hell up out of here anyway, you know. And hopefully, you know, hopefully, Lord willing, and it's the last Trump anyway, that this won't happen. <laughs> You know, uh, you know, hopefully we get to, uh, you know, uh, take a, a tractor beam, if you will, up on that chariot and be crowned. But hopefully this won't happen. Let's read it. Regeneration, reincarnation. It's in the Bible. It's all over the place And this. And if you don't believe it, you don't believe it. You know, at, at this point, these videos are only for the elect anyway. If you if you don't get it, just stay off the comment boards. There's so many people. It's just this madness. Numbers 14, <clears throat> verse 18. The Lord Yahweh is long suffering and of great mercy, forgiving the iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty. You see that? No means clearing the guilty. Now, it, it, sit back and think about this for one moment. Put this in your mind's eye. What happened to our people, which was us, which, which you know, our forefathers, which was us, what happened to them? And what happened to the people that did this, that, you know, did these atrocities, all the grape, all the robbing, all the unaliving, all the cutting out babies? See, and, and we're going to go into that, too. You know, this lesson won't be too long again, but we're going to go into that, too. All the cutting out babies, you know, uh, removing your Johnson, you know, if you will, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, all the uh, drowned towns, the... Um, uh, uh, you know, the Black Wall Streets, your, your Wilmington, North Carolina, you know, all the, all those things. What happened to those people? They just they got to pass away. And, what, and uh, what's, what's her name? That woman, Carolyn, Carolyn something, you know, that, uh, that uh, uh, had Emmett Till basically unalived. What happened to him? Nothing. You know, it, it, again, another example. She, even when, you know, she was in her elderly stage, her old age. She it finally came out and she admitted that, you know, that he didn't do nothing. He didn't say nothing. And she she had a big part, you know, a big hand in, uh, you know, unaliving that, that Jake like that, man. And it was in a very bad way. What happened to her? Nothing. Oh, she's too old. They deemed her too old. Well, there's no statute of limitations on, uh, on murder. But see, they're not in trouble as other men. Let's keep reading. The Lord Yahweh is long suffering and great mercy for giving the iniquity and transgression and by no means clearing the guilty. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the third and fourth generation. See that what upon the third and fourth generation. So these bodies that we, you know, that we inhabit, 
if you will, which are not ours. It's not in your body and it's not your choice. OK, we are to be going by the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh These bodies belong to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh We were put here to, to be a sacrifice. All right. To be a sacrifice. Now, the scripture does go into it and it tells you that what? It tells you that there will be some of you that will not taste of death. That you will not see death. Let's go here. Let's go here. And then we'll get back and we'll, we'll go into it at uh, sacrifice just a little bit. Sirach. Sirach 25 and verse 7. There it is. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth will I utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. You see that? And the fall of his enemy is going to come, come by way of thermonuclear fire. Okay. Now we all should understand and know this by now that when that thermonuclear fire comes by, you know, when these people are getting ate up uh, and uh, uh, melted, that the righteous shall scarcely be saved. See, all this is going to be happening at the same time in rapid succession. Okay. All right. So, you know, hey, and the men that what have joy of his children, joy of his children. Okay. That being said, let's go here. Elder Yasha Wumble was going into this just the other day. It was an excellent video. All right. The true history of Moloch, the ancient God of child sacrifice. And this is going on all throughout the earth. All right. So again, you know, th 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 uh, that story of uh, that, uh, that woman, and she looked like she was bugged all the way out. I mean, damn, she looked like a spirit created for vengeance. Anyway, all right, all this, uh, this is going on, you know, on everywhere. More than you would know. More than you would think, shall I say. Because the brothers that are in the know, you are in the know, man. This place is full of what? Witchcraft. All right? And they do use little babies and all kinds of things. What was that? The, what was that? the Superman? The Christopher Reeves? They be using, uh, the, you know, uh, I got to be careful about what I'm saying. But they, you know, they use the stem cells and all that. And there's a, uh, a plethora of videos out there where, where these celebrities are going in and talking about, uh, well, I'll be using, you know, foreskins from, from, from children and all kinds of, you know, different parts of children to, uh, to make themselves look better. And it's in cosmetics, you know, it's all kinds of different things. But it all, it, it all boils down to this deity if you will, this uh, this idol that is really worshipped here in Babylon, man. <clears throat> Perhaps no uh, pagan deity was re was reviled as Moloch, a god whose cult repeatedly what sacrificed children in a furnace. All right, and uh, oh boy, in a furnace and set inside the belly of a bronze bull, right? Of a what? Of a bronze bull, and you have those statues. You got bronze bulls just strategically placed all over Babylon. See this one? I don't know what happened there. Let's go to images. This one right here, I think, is, is sitting in front of one of them damn uh, Amalek 1948 or banking cartels. You see? It's all kinds of things, man. All kinds of things. And if you look, oh, well, that reminds me of something. You know, I'm sort of all over the place here, but, you know, hey, you know, stick with me. This reminds me of something. Scriptures go into it and tells you that Yahweh Shah had you know, skin of uh, a, a fine brass, bronze, and some people say bronze. Okay? Look at the color of that. I'm just saying. Looks, looks dark to me. But, uh, no, it's talking about uh, he was burning the furnace and it was, you know, and all that. No, nah, no, nah, he, he, was, he was gold. Who the hell gold? If you deny that Yahweh Shah walked upon this earth as a man, then you deny Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, period, point blank. All right. Whole nother lesson. OK. Now, again, let's go back. And we read about this and it says what children in a furnace set inside the belly of a bronze bull. Now, uh, don't know how to say it. Uh, we'll just say this, that grove. We'll just say that that grove where presidents and stars and all kinds of people. Go and do this and do that. It said that they are doing what? Burning uh, little children in furnaces. And see, all right, that the whole thing that they do, you know, and it's who what one of the presidents said was one of the most faggoty things he ever seen. Um, Debating if I want to go to it. We'll leave it. 
We'll leave it. You can look it up. Look it up. Uh, it's uh, Bohemian. We'll say it like that. And then the last is Grove. All right. Look that up. One of the presidents said it's one of the most faggoty things that he's ever been involved in. All right. And that's how they get down. That's what's up. So Rock 39 verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. We're in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of their destruction, they uh, what they of destruction, they power out, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So Yahweh Bashim Yahushua has all these people do these things. He puts these, uh, uh, you know, lying spirits and demonic spirits on these people, man, to do these things like that. Even you know, even cannibalism, man, and and that's coming back. That's coming back. There's a, a, let's let's just do this. Let's do this. There's, let's see a map. Let's see if I can pull this up here. I don't know if I can or not. We'll see. Okay. You might be surprised. That's disgusting. That See that right there? That's nasty as hell, man. Damn. Um, let's go to images and see if we can find where it's legal. And I'm pretty sure it was legal all throughout Babylon. All right. Let's see. What does that say right there? It's sort of hard to read. You see, the green is... I can't read that. It's sort of... I can't read it. All right. That says cannabis. That, that says cannibalism. That said cannabis. So what the hell is going on here? You see, legal uh, United States where cannabis. No, I don't want no damn cannabis. No, 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 no. Anyway, I wanted to look that up. Let's see if, it, if this is it right here. Uh, military. What does this say? Pre-AIDS. Oh, whatever, man. Uh, whatever. Anyway, you know, the, the Elder Hawad had, had shared it on the chat. And it was every damn state is what it was. It was every damn state. And we ain't talking. That says cannibalism, not cannabis. What you talking about, Willis? It's crazy. All right. Let's go here. Psalm 73 in verse 3. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Of what? Of the wicked. Okay. And again, you know, that she basically got a pass. The shit didn't make any sense. And why in the world would you keep the, uh, little children in a freezer? Uh, that's, hey, that's like some Jeffrey Dahmer shit, man. You know, that's that's some old crazy ass Edomite spirit shit. That's what it is. All right. And, and you know, and the, with the FBI and, and, and CIA and them, uh, whoever the hell, you know, all the alphabet people, these uh, groups. That you know, say they're they're the law and all that. Why in the world would they not? I mean, they said they investigated, but that shit don't make no sense, man. It makes zero sense. You know, something is a, a crime is a foot. I'm just saying. Verse four, for their bands, for there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued. Like other men, and that's the point. They're not in trouble. They they're not in trouble. In who we got here? Mm. Okay, all right. Always messing with me while I'm doing a lesson. All right, we'll close out right here. I just want, I didn't want to make this too long. That's a that's a crazy ass story. Even found a four babies and the, and the last one. You know, the last one that she had, they said that uh she had gave it up for adoption adoption. So obviously she didn't want the babies in the first place. I don't know, man. Everything's fishy. Everything's fishy in here in Babylon, and you, you can't believe none of these damn stories. It's just something, something going on, right? Oh, that's right. Uh, there, uh, there, uh, there's a devil. There's another story. Uh, I forget who it was. I think it was one of these. It was either it was an Amazon or one of these, you know, Fortune 500 companies, where it come out that uh, one, the son of one of these companies or the uh, CEO or owner or something had you know unallowed his wife and they would have never caught him but he you know he just basically he took her and put her in a trash bag and was trying to take her out with the trash man she, <laughs> better terms throw the baby out with the bath water okay and, and right about that time is when that p diddy shit went goes out see they, they always accuse the uh you know the jake of something which he, he he's guilty you know he got that sodom and gomorrah spirit you can't tell me he wasn't there you know, you can't tell me he ain't, he's, he, he back. 
He's back. He's he's with that shit. Okay, but they always what so do uh, do something about Jake. Same thing with with the uh, Aura Aura Kelly, right? Same thing with uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, the uh, pillow uh, pudding pops. <laughs> they uh, uh, Bill Cosby, man. All right, all that shit, man. And they be doing way, way, way worse. Way worse. This is not our rest, Jake. You you really need to get up out of this world, man. Turn back to your how about you side. That's the key right there. Okay? All right, all right, all right. I got you. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Sirach 25 and verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy and the temple to utter with my tongue. I read that already. We'll just leave it. We'll leave it right there. I know this lesson was all over the place, man. I figured I'd you know chime in. On that, because something just didn't seem right. But we walking circumspectly and paying attention to the prophecies anyway, man. So they'll throw all, all kinds of stuff like this in your face to get you, uh, you know, to throw you off or whatever. And in the meantime, Yahweh Bashim Yahashai is making moves, making moves. Things are getting spicy over there in the so-called Middle East. Things are happening all over this earth. And, you know, and a lot of Jakes are waking up and that's an absolutely beautiful thing. And a whole lot, and, and a whole lot what, two thirds is a bigger number. Then one third or what? Stay in their asses asleep. And that's that. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Rekaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, of whom I learn from daily healthy shalom to you brothers out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, keep your eyes peeled, keep your eyes on the prize, stay occupied in prophecies. Every chance you get, chant this place down. Quam Yasharala and Wa a Bible ball. Boom! Shalom. <laughs>